great morning everyone how are you all doing this is your girl shan i am back with you as i am every morning let me go ahead and jump into this for the sake of time because as y'all always know i don't know what god's gonna allow me to say but i'm gonna be obedient and say it now today's topic <laughs> is based off a post that i put on our personal facebook page and it was actually talking to the fathers but i'm gonna go ahead and make this general because as i was sitting down yesterday at my desk i said hmm God, that's going to be a good topic. So, what if your child slash children chose a mate just like you? What would that look like? Yes, this shall be interesting. Now, one of the things, good morning, um, Cousin Kim, that me and my husband always talk about on our radio show, Marriage Mondays with the Kings on KRG and 98.5 FM. You know, I got to throw that out there. But one of the things that we always speak about is how you in your marriage, good morning, Andre, is being an example for your children. What type of example are you setting? Now, of course, it we shouldn't be, you know, it's okay, I think, for the kids to see a nice, no, I ain't gonna say, because some people's level of arguments is a whole different level. Let me not even go there. But it's okay for them to see a normal marriage, a normal relationship. It'll give them something to look forward to, right? But... We do one of two things. Either number one, as a married couple, we're going to try to make sure everything is perfect. The kids never seen us argue. They never seen us fight. They shouldn't be saying they're fighting. They should just the whole, please don't do that. Or you all out acting a straight up fool. Okay, showing your whole behind. Turn up stuff. The kids is fearing for their life. Nah. So, in my question today, this is for us to examine ourselves. Good morning, Simone. And and I'll even say, even if you're single as well, good morning, Jasana. If your child or children was to marry someone like you, what would that look like? Now, some may set up and say, well, sh I love myself. I'm prepping. No, boo-boo. Let's be straight up honest and real. If they was to marry somebody like you and the way that they see uh, you treat their dad or their mom, that's what I'm talking about. Because, see, this is one of the biggest things that I've seen. Okay, let me go ahead. Y'all know I got to tell you the story so I can put it to it and make it plain, right? So, one of our sons were dating. And in speaking to one of his girlfriends, she was like, it bothers her. She was telling me, it bothers her when he always compare, um, say that you act just like, that she act just like me. So, in other words, he was telling her, you act just like my mama. And it was making her mad. And then for a little bit, I think I might got a slight bit something like, well, what's wrong with me? But the crazy thing is the characteristics in which he was attracted to was similar to the characteristics that I possess. And he wasn't saying it in a bad way. He was just saying, you know, she was a strong woman. She's smart, whatever the case may be. And so generally, nine times out of ten, if we be honest, that's who... Our children are going to be attracted to. If they're males, nine times out of ten, they're going to be attracted to somebody with the same characteristics as their mother. And they're not even thinking about it. It's not like they're purposely, purposely doing it. And vice versa. Now, for me and my husband, truth, truth be told, me and my mother-in-law have the man. Let me tell you, her birthday is the day before mine. And I don't, he didn't even know that. You know, I didn't even know that. But we have similar characteristics. Good morning, uh, Sabrina. We have sim similar characteristics characteristics were both strong women were independent women whatever the case may be that that might have been what attracted um him to me and then my my husband has the same characteristics as my grandfather and so i loved ma'am i was a grandpa's that i was his baby you heard me he loved all his grandchildren but that was my papa and so think about it the person that has the most influential um who is the most influenced in one's life is the one nine times out of 10 that they are, come on, Andre, nine times out of 10, that's what they're going to be. Because think about it, especially in the South. I don't See, I talk about the South because I don't know too much about the North, so no shade to anybody that's from the North. But in the South, baby, nine times out of 10, I'm going to give an example. When it comes to men, they done been raised with a mama that can cook from scratch some real food, they ain't, they ain't going to McDonald's and microwaving all that, and nine times out of ten, they want a wife that's gonna be, that can cook. <laughs> because remember, I said that was one of the requirements. Now, I'm gonna touch into something that y'all gonna think is a little spiritually spooky deep, but I'm actually, I believe in my heart telling the truth and what I'm saying in this. Some of the times, as husbands and wives, say that there are situations, and yes, children shouldn't be privy to everything, but say that there are situations in which 
um say it was some infidelity say somebody was was battling with a spirit of lust that's what we say in the church growing up they got a lust spirit every time you turn around they trying to sleep with everybody okay i'm trying to keep it real nice but y'all know my mouth can be straight forward but they trying to sleep with everybody okay so nine times out of ten a husband or a wife a husband or wife they try to hide that but let me tell you something what i know about kids they can pick up on things spiritually that are not right and if they're exposed to it, then nine times out of 10, that might be who they end up marrying. Now, this is what tripped me out to all my mamas out there. You know what I'm saying? We all in the same group, but this is what tripped me out. When you have a mama, okay, that you ask a stone cold fool, you always got an attitude, you always snapping at your husband, you acting domineering, you acting like you the man in the house and all this other kind of stuff, talking crazy to this man. But then your son... Your son falls in love, yes he do, with that same type of individual that he's seen in you. And then you get mad because you sit and pretend about, oh, he, she ain't going to be treating my son like that. Oh, she got me messed up. Baby boy, that ain't the one you want. That ain't the one for you. And he falls deeper and deeper in love with her. Why? Because she's you. So what are we showing our children? We need to get to the place in our marriage where we're showing our children love. The word of God. Our kids may not ever pick up the Bible. And this is what they say for Christians. Us as Christians. People around us may not ever pick up the Bible. And the only Bible they may see is the Bible in us. What we walk out in our life. So that's the same thing when it comes to our marriages. Our children learn what they learn about marriage in the house okay and if you're not teaching the right thing then guess what the world is going to teach them and they're going to try to learn the best that they can and the best that they know and nine times out of ten they're going to end up with somebody they ain't got no business being with these kids are turning towards technology so why you got them in the house train up the child that's what the word of god say what are you showing them are they seeing love between a husband and wife what are they seeing are, are, are they saying daddy were you treating your wife like a queen um, so your daughters, now I know some men, the baby, they love their daughters, but how are you treating your wife? Because that's what they're going to fashion themselves after, especially if they got such a love for their daddy. So are you putting your hands on your wife and then you get mad when God forbid your daughter, your precious daughter end up with somebody putting hands on? Are you being a good example and you, uh... Stand within your household. My mind almost says something else. Jesus, keep me near the cross, okay? Are you staying in your household when it comes to that? That is below the waist you stand with your wife? Because you get mad if you find out your baby girl is with somebody that's cheating on her, right? Oh, you get mad. You know what I'm saying? What is it that you're teaching? Wife, are you showing mother? Are you showing your boys how to love, how they ought to be treating uh, how they queen should be treating them, their future queen. How they a queen should be taking care of them. Are you showing this? Are you showing how the word of God tells us that we are to submit? Yes, I submit to my husband and I have no problem with that because that man is a king. And I desire for, good morning, Angela, my daughters to see the same thing. They daddy is a king, baby. You look for king material. Your daddy take care of you on the king level. So don't be running around with no peasants, okay? You need to be looking for somebody hey penny yes honey what are we producing out here that's what we need to be looking at i'm sorry when i get comfortable my country comes out y'all know that but that's what gets me is i can't stand to see a mama and a daddy you get mad because who your child end up with and you trying to oh baby you trying to protect them from that oh baby you don't want to do this oh baby you don't want to be with that person but baby that's what you showed them so we got to examine ourselves. I know that's one thing that I tend to look at. And think about this. Because I'm the oldest child. I'm the oldest child of five. The oldest child know everything. So you can fake it. You can lie. You can do what you want to do. But baby, let me tell you this. The oldest child knows everything that had happened between mama and daddy in that house. Why? Because they the oldest. I'm sure if, if we was to bring our son on our radio show broadcast and he was to share with y'all some of the things, baby, it wasn't no sugar coat, no fighting because he was right there. He seen it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to say this in a bad way. I'm just trying to say look at what you're showing your children the word of god tells us to train god tells us to train up a child the way that they should go for a reason and that's in all things but we can't get mad when we see our children because i'm not gonna lie my daughter in love baby mm -hmm. yep she just like she just like me <laughs> so i can't
can't complain. And I'm happy about that because I don't know about y'all parents and those of you all who are married and who are single. I constantly pray, God, please just bless my children with awesome spouses. What an awesome husband. What an awesome wife. That is my prayer. You know what I'm saying? And then I feel like, boom, it's, it'll be easy for me to cut the strings like it has been with an older son. Boom. Baby, you married. Boom. You on your own. I'm to the next child. You know what I'm saying? What we got to do with this next one? Okay, let's get you out of college or whatever. And I do ask questions, you know, but I just need us because, and I'm not going to knock the singles because I remember someone um, talking about this as well. She came to the realization because her daughter, her own daughter, was seeing how she jumps in and out of relationships. How she jumped from men to men to men to men. How when the men come in, she put the men over the uh, the children. And then when they relationship break up, then you want to go back to be mama dearest. I'm only saying this because I've seen women do this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't be talking to my man like that, boo-boo. That man ain't put no ring on your finger. That man ain't stood up to be responsible to say, I'll help take care of you and your children and I'll I'll be that king and all this other kind of stuff. No, that man is shacking up for opportunity until he jumped to the next. Did y'all miss my last two days of videos? Look, <laughs> who are we married to? That's what's happening. That is what's happening. So when our children replicate that in which they see, we can't get mad at nobody but ourselves. So what I highly suggest is if you're in this situation, because you're going to have people that's going to get mad, straight up mad, and click off this video. Oh, that half of them know she's talking about. No, baby, you done clicked off because you know I know what I'm talking about. And I don't even know you or your situation. But know this. When our children replicate, we can't get mad, but we have the power to change it, okay? Because when me and my husband used to argue and fight all the time and act a stone cold fool, like we should have been on WWE, oh, we act as a fool. I came to the realization I don't want my kids to grow up and replicate the same type of uh, uh, re relationship and marriage and think that this is okay. No. And so me and my husband, it was awesome to hear our oldest son say, dang, that's how I knew he knew. Dang, mama, it seemed like you and daddy is at a real good place right now in y'all's marriage he said i'm very proud of y'all our babies are watching they are watching if you single you at the grind you doing for your kids you know what i'm saying i congratulate you salute to you you see what i'm saying it's better that then you jumping in and out of relationships that are meaningless because guess what? You're showing your kids not to love for the temporary gratification and not to love for long term. And that's why we need to wait on the timing of God and the things that we do because God knows what he's doing. I'm telling you, I got sick and tired. I ain't even trying to be in a relationship but for whatever drama for a whole two years. I wasn't trying to be in a relationship and then boom, here comes my husband. You know what I'm saying? So... What are we showing our babies? What are we showing them whether we be single and we in relationships or whether we're in a marriage? Because like I said, if you don't get nothing out of this whole video, our babies are going to replicate that in which they see. So what are we showing them? You know what I'm saying? And I know I touch on this briefly, but even for those who are in abusive situations right now, when I mean abusive, you getting you, you black and blue, baby. What are you showing your daughters? That is acceptable? No. I need you to get some strength. I need you to go before the Lord. And I need you to get to a safe place with you and your babies. Because it's not worth it. And you don't want them to grow up with somebody that's beating on them. Whether that be husband or wife. You see what I'm saying? Male or female. So y'all have a blessed day. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Please share this because it's free. Because somebody need a wake up call. Be a blessing today and not a curse. And your girl, Shannon, be back with y'all tomorrow. God bless.